Heck, we're going to continue editing. I got my next shot set up. And I probably have too many shots that I, I'm not going to use. I really, so I, I get to the point where I'm about to get the mail out of the mailbox. And I could just stay with this shot and, you know, continue it. But I got some creative shots I like. And it's too bad because I can't use them all. Go So I have this one where I grab it. I have the close-up. I have this one. And I also have this one. This one I really like from below. I'm going to try this one. I got my in and out point set. And so I'm going to insert it in. I'm going to see what it looks like. So, I like it. So I'm going to go from there um, to, I think and I'm going to go to this shot where I start walking away. And I got, did I, I think I just shut the mailbox back up. So, I'll shut it, end point, and I'm going to kind of take it to there. I'm going to drag and drop the next shot in. I'm going to use my minus to get me to the end. Let's see how that sequence works. Hit the play button, my space bar. And the continuity looks good. I have one other shot in here. I, I'm going to see how it works. Again, I'm creating foreground. Uh, it's going to be a quick one if it works. End point. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to hit O. And again, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to see how it works. Okay, then I'm going to go b see where I'm at next. I'm back in the house now. So I'm going to go back to some of my early shots. So I'm going to go... Oh, I think I'm going to go back to this wide shot. I have the mail. I just came past that fence right there. End point. I'm going to get me to about there. And that's about a 603 shot, which is a kind of a long shot right there. Let's watch it. I think I'm going to get me to the cement. Right there to the cement. Remember, I can edit down the timeline. I'm going to go back and find this shot. I'm going to come in. I'm just about, oh, right there. End point. I, I'm going to get me to the door. Out point. That's a 401 shot. I can tell from right there. Then I'm going to come to my next tight shot. And again, I'm creating depth with this in the foreground. And this is my main area. I for end point. I'm going to get it myself inside the door again bring it down and we're getting really close to the end I'm gonna try ending this real quick um, I here have my shot of the table I just walked in the door let's go about right here endpoint 
I get to the table, out point. That's a really long shot. That's a 9-11. I don't know if I like that shot, how long it is. Um, I think I have two more shots here. They're a little dark, but they work. I'm going to shorten this shot up a lot. I'm going to come in the, I'm going to cut that one in half. Select the gap, delete button. I want to see, do I just drop that? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this shot. My continuity is not great right here. End point. I think right about there. And then I got my last shot I was gonna use showing me opening. the ladder I'm gonna end right there way too long of a shot but let's see how it works I'm walking in let's fix this real quick Zooming in with my plus key. So that's about where it hits. See my audio wave files right there? I can tell I'm pretty close. And notice right here, see I got two clips where this delete key works great. Delete, it shifts everything over. What I so watch people do is they do this stuff. You're losing time by doing that. If you have 50 edits and you do that 50 times where you could do this just once. Delete. Let's see how it works. Oh, it works. Ooh, little bit off there. Okay, I just got to flip that over to about right there and I think I have it with the continuity and then oh I got it so I'm gonna command s here and then we'll come back um, and we'll show you how to finish up with a little bit of dissolves and things like that